Griffin here for sexualfuturist.com. Now, I'm going to take a bit of a different angle on things here. It's been asked in the past on this website and on this YouTube channel, does your religion honor your sexuality? I'm going to ask you a different question. Something that may bother a lot of people. Does your science honor your sexuality? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have a lot of transgendered friends who talk about gatekeepers. That's therapists deciding between whether you've got uh, gender dysphoria, which is where your brain is wired to be either the opposite gender or, some, or something not indicated by your uh, apparent body, and body dysmorphia, which is, where, which is like the people who have constant nips and tucks and surgeries uh, just to get their appearance correct, even though it's already pretty good, or basically doesn't need changing. Now, basically, when it comes to gatekeeping, we have to ask ourselves, as far as our sexuality goes with science, are our therapists, our doctors, psychiatrists, psychologists, what have you, even uh, individuals of a religious persuasion uh, being absolutely objective? And is it possible to be absolutely objective when it comes to someone displaying their sexuality? There have been a couple of indications where uh, there's a very couple of uh, people, sorry, indication of the wrong word. There are a couple of cases where individuals have come in, they're transgendered, they want to be boys who want to be girls or girls who want to be boys and some of these women want to be just ordinary vanilla women they want to be um, making out with the captain of the football team because he's dreamy and basically these these individuals are not honored by this science that uh, so many of them like so much because these doctors will try they'll be influenced by their beliefs they will believe that a boy who wants to be a girl and be with boys is probably just really, really gay. And it's not that simple. So I ask the sexual futurist community, does your science have sufficient objectivity to honor your sexuality, not to mention your gender identity? And in the future, will brain scanning, embryo selection, and a few other things we've seen in movies like Gattaca uh, be used to determine whether you really know what you're asking for as far as changing your appearance or or inf or telling people to not question your sexuality anymore or is it going to be left in a quagmire because it's a political football I'm Ozzy Griffin and I'm leaving the answers up to you at sexualfuturist.com